Yo, Jake, let me ask you something. You ever banging a chick in the bathroom, and then your mom walks in, and she's like, What the heck, man? The fuck? Dude, are you just- can you not handle the truth? Look, you can't- you can't say shit like that. Oh, I'm saying it. Hey, Hunger Games, I'm still full. I go in my mind and take this God will complete his mission. Time to make America Grod again. And welcome back to the podcast. What's up? Hi, everyone. Hey. What you been doing, Luke? Uh, how's uh, the week been? Uh, Busy. Work. Busy. Man, I've just, been, I've just been listening to that new up-and-coming artist, Kate Bush. Like, I don't know if you've heard about her. Like, she's pretty new. but Brand like, new. Dude, she's uh, she's great. She's, she's good. She's going to make a name for herself soon. I'm apparently, it's like, apparently, it's like a Panchico situation where her music just recently was discovered even though it's from the 80s from 85 yeah i'm really happy for her she yeah, up and coming kate, artist dude fucking kate bush catching an absolute bag right now oh my yeah. god i envy that woman <laughs> what if what if stranger things was like jake we need armor we need jake, armor. we need armor i'd, I'd tell them uh, please dear god no any other song why? Just don't pick any of my songs. They all suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell them wait for the new album when I actually drop good music. Bruh. Shocker. Holy Dude. I'm, I'm running up that hill. Am I right, baby? <laughs> running up. Guys, have you ever heard of the show Stranger Things? Stranger Things. More like Stranger th Thongs. More like Stranger Tings. Am I right, man? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Bingley Mega Chippy. We're going to watch Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just reference the Mega I did Chippy. Just I did just bust out the Bingley Mega Chippy like five minutes into this podcast. <laughs> Jackson's not here. We're getting crazy. The Bingley Unhinged. Mega Chippy. The dude. Bingley Mega Chippy, bro. That's so funny. I can't wait to go to the Bingley Mega Chippy and get some fucking Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Eight. Canadian Things. Eight. Not in Tings, right? Hey, Yo, over your things, eight. Hey, you done, no, eight. Hey, drink the... over your thing, eight. Hey. What? Yeah. You done, no, eight. Hey. Straight anyway. in the gang, eight. Hey. Yeah, over your fuck, gang, eight. Yeah. Hey. The fuck, owl yeah. and the push of the gang, eight. Hey. The, the big mosh, yeah? The fuck? I can't even, like, the, the video <laughs> where, like, they got the ski mask on, he's just speaking, like, he's speaking, like, a different language, but legend has it, it's English. I'm just thinking of the intro song off of More Life, where at the end, the, he gets, like, the guy, it's like the Jamaican dude, and he goes, Eh, you don't know, eh, all of your things, eh, drinking the stew, eh, all of your things, More Life, really? And then it, like, transitions to the next song, and you're Luke, like, you're scaring <gasps> me, please. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to find that video. It's like the kid, he's got, he's got like, a ski mask on, they're speaking in... In uh, British, British. Is he like? I'm running up the hill. I'm running up the. Nah, bro, that's a different video. Fuck. Oh, right on. To take a piss out your cur. What? I don't even know what the fuck he just said, bro. Like he said it's English, but like. I don't believe it. I think if it, it, if it's translated to American, he probably said, um, he probably said, uh, join the Good Enough Podcast Patreon. There are a lot of perks I think, there. I think that's exactly what he's saying. Yeah, there are a lot of perks there. You get bonus episodes, uh, regular episodes early, LPs, early. a LPs. private Discord, and you get to feel in on a joke because. Every week, we recommend an album called The Book Club, and we review it. We give you guys a week to listen to it, so you can just feel like you're a part of the bit, and you can review an album with us. It's all one big joke. It's a big, big joke. One big gaff and a goof. The joke is we review an album. The joke is we review an album. And yeah. the, the joke is, Luke, s something came in the mail today. What was it? I'll give you... Two guesses. Nuts? And... What's your other guess? P 
Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. Those are two pretty good guesses. However, comma, a little, little off, little off the mark, because Jackson's not here. So let's celebrate this together, shall we? Oh, baby, Luke is currently blur. He, we're having a video issue, so I'll hold this up until. He can see what it is. I, it's going to be forever, man. It's Just tell gonna, me what it is. Raw data. I, I got raw data fuel on Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Jackson, <laughs> eat our shorts, man. Eat my short. Here, I'll hold it up to Luke and see. <laughs> eat both of our shorts collectively. Luke does this thing where he can't see uh, my screen for five minutes, like, or just like... It's weird. Whenever Jackson is on the call, it's not an issue. But whenever it's just me and Jake, I, it's definitely a Jake issue. Because it's not a Jake issue, moving. asshole. I can do everything perfectly. It is. It's a you issue. But I see you whenever I'm with just Jackson. Jackson and you. So. Okay. This should, we'll wait until he can see. you still holding it up the image that's currently on guys this is this is probably spoilers for the award show but there oh i see it i see it now there it, it now. is raw data go. feel the the jackson has terrible takes arc i know he has terrible takes all the time but it's been so bad recently it's been horrendous to, right lately yeah we've decided to make a whole Good arc god no we're gonna make a fucking category of its own jackson's worst takes so well, we can make it its arc as well. We can make it its arc, like because it is an arc. Because there are multiple episodes in a row. This out, everybody. Raw data feel by everything, everything. Oh boy, howdy. Back, oh, kind of cool. Mama. We're gonna do a little bit of vinyl update right here, right now. Back, kind of cool. Got a bit of a Schlagenheim meme going on, where it's like one color with some black squares blocking out some stuff. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Open her up. Got a little bit of a. AI generated image, kind of cool. It's okay, not as cool as the the rest of the thing. The things. Um, what is the <laughs> What is the thing on the front? I've always I still don't know what the I don't data know. Feel. I think it's a camera. I I'd like to think it's like a, a it's like a image of Jonathan Higgs, but it's just like horribly AI distorted to be like mechanical and with a camera. So I'm guessing it's Jonathan Higgs, the front man. But you know who who could really tell? And then open her up. Then he, ah, fuck! I had a paper cut. My fucking ass. So open Balls. her up, and then you got the uh, the, the, the lyric sheet with all the lyrics on it. And then I sprung for the retail store exclusive yellow. And this is the first time I'm looking at the Whoa. label actually, and the label actually looks fucking sick. Side uh, side B actually looks sick. All right, Luke. This is something I don't understand. I thought vinyl records were, like, you can only fit 42 minutes on a vinyl record, right? No, I think it's longer. I thought it was only 42 minutes. No, I think nowadays with our modern technology, it's more. I guess, because everything everything on here, the raw data feels 52 minutes, and it's only on one LP, which is interesting. Like, I didn't think they could do that. But is this is the LP? This is for the listening audience, not for Luke, for you, Luke. It's just the stuff. And on the back, pretty cool image actually of some fucking AI generated chaos. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. However, I was looking on the Reddit, and you know I love an album when I look on the, it's a subreddit, and uh, people are saying that side B of the yellow vinyl particularly sounds like shit, like Ooh. it sounds fucked. So I gotta listen to it and maybe get a new copy but yeah in the meantime but with the plan that i got uh I sprung i got the limited edition uh yellow vinyl i also got the uh the cassette i got the cassette version it's a it's a yellow it's a yellow cassette i've never owned a cassette in my entire life so wow. it's gonna be kind of cool it's your first cassette it's my first cassette raw data feel by everything everything wow it's nice and bright Absolute. yellow wild even. looks pretty cool and the reason i sprung for it was because that was the cheapest bundle that i could get which came with this hang on as i dramatically pull it out a signed print by the band all four members oh that's sick pretty cool it's like this like flower explosion type thing and it looks really cool and it's got all the band signature on it and that's pretty lit. That's pretty cool. So, Jackson, I don't want to hear your bitching, because I'm very happy 
with my raw data, my raw data feel, vinyl packaging. I was really scared that it was going to come in, like, fucking, like, August, like, raw data feel. I mean, fucking injury reserve type beat. You feel me? But Well, this is yeah. what I think about that. All my minds are basing, I'm bonding you. Is that I'm what song I'm sucking penis goes? and I'm <laughs> gay and shit. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sucking like on that. your dick in the car. Yes. I'm sucking on your dick in the car. Yes. It's Kevin's car, but it's called yeah, Dick's no, car. Yes. I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. That's okay, man. It's okay. Sucks. Oh, this is what I was going to say. So, Luke, uh, he was he was being a bit of a uh, queen bee today, and he's like, um, uh, hey, guys, I'm going to need you to... Uh, promote the latest episode of the podcast of views have been doing too good and uh yeah i want to make sure that uh people people don't forget that you have a podcast so you should you should probably post about it okay if you i did not say it like you that, want this to keep going that's exactly how you said it so not. i put on my story and i did not think about it till very recently right i i put on a story i was like hey check out the new podcast it's at the funny sex number 69 right and on the al- on, on the thumbnail, it's raw data feel by everything everything. I photoshopped us into like the AI generated work, and I put in parentheses. I was like, it's our raw data feel review as well. The band follows me on Instagram. That's true. There is a small possibility that Jonathan Higgs will drunkenly see that and watch it <laughs> and get mad at Jackson and get pissed off at Jackson. <laughs> Dude, I... You know what? Let's check live on the podcast. Let's see if they looked at my story. If they did, that is awesome. If they did, I'm going to pog the... F- They're very f- active. Out. They're active. They are. Mona. Yeah, they fucking followed me. I know Luke Come can't on. see, but I just flashed a... Please share the Good Enough podcast with a friend if you like music, funny, funnies, and big gay balls. It's true. Yes. All right, let's see. So... Did everything, everything view my story? Let's play the fun little game. Luke, I guess Isn't it just roll. Jonathan Higgs? He's probably the main the guy account. that runs it, yeah, if I had to take a, a shit in the dark. Does he have his own Twitter and Instagram? He has his own Twitter, yeah. I want to follow him. Alrighty. No everything, everything yet. There's a chance they will see it. And if they do... <laughs> That will be fucking hilarious. That would be hilarious, wouldn't because it? Because they will hear Luke, you and me, absolutely schlobbing on their knob, and then they will hear Jackson being a little pussy and complaining. <laughs> Let's just shit on Jackson again. I'm totally fine with that, brother. He, and he has had so, just, like, I cannot believe the amount of terrible takes he's had lately. Like, I, I hope you all understand. I've been keeping track. Like... There's just so many terrible takes all in a row. It's its own arc at this point. It's the terrible takes arc from Jackson. Yeah. And trust me, he has it. He has a terrible take every episode. But like mm-hmm. recently it's been mm-hmm. worse. It's been worse than normal. No, nah, it's been um, pretty pretty bad. So it all started with double pump, where Jackson said that new Fortnite is bad. Then in It's Not Gonna Dry, episode 66, Jackson said Bucky's was bad despite never being bussies to bu- it's pronounced yeah, bussies. bussies jesus christ he was shitting You're on from there and you don't even know never never even had bussy um <laughs> yes 67 we gave him a pass because he had covid and shit whatever you know what 68 jackson had fairly good takes throughout it except for his terrible kendrick lamar ranking it was a bad take then this project is reborn the raw data field take and then episode 70, man just hates Frosted Mini Wheats. He's a fiend. He's a fiend. Whoa, Jerma, what are you doing on the corner of our screen? Get get out of there, you. Go. Whoa. Why why are you suiting up with a tie? What why are you fixing get leave? Just go. Okay, are thank you. Are you trying to add a me? No, sorry. <laughs> Exactly You're just trying to make me edit <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, remind Jeremiah. me, remind me the next episode when you're not here <laughs> next week to be like, wait, what's that? 
a grizzly bear walking into the Jackson's what, background? What's that? A, a hyper edited uh, cinem cinematic review of a, a th someone's nuts? What? <laughs> what is that? A a, a close up of Jackson Burns' supple cock? <laughs> <laughs> Supple is such full, a funny... Full HD. Supple and petite are probably the funniest descriptions <laughs> of petite. <laughs> he had a very petite cock. Petite. Oh, bruh. Uh, what does petite even mean? It's again? small. <laughs> Attract Attractively small and dainty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dainty. dainty. Jack uh, Jackson Burns has a petite cock, guys. <laughs> God, if if I didn't care, I'd make that the title. But supple, supple, <laughs> supple oh, means right. flexible. Supple means flexible. Ooh, all right. Uh, welcome to episode seventy-one. Uh, petite, supple, and petite, or petite and supple, because <laughs> it works on multiple like. levels. Because it, it's also a two-man thing, and it's a two two-word description. Jake, so. do you have anything that's both supple and petite in your life? I mean, I just busted out my raw data fuel vinyl. That's pretty supple and petite currently right that, now. Is it flexible? D if I take the record out, it kind of is. I guess. Is it small? It's it's large. Well, I, I guess. I guess. I guess you could say it's small compared. To, yeah, the cassette's small. Yeah. It actually funny you mentioned that. It actually does look smaller than most of my vinyl records when I place them. This uh, my my little uh, shitty LED thing is kind of flexible and it's pretty petite. I drank two cocktails. So that's pretty cool. Two I'm an alcoholic now? now, guys. Yeah, I'm Jake is Jake is going through it, man. My brother's been busting my balls. He's like, Joe, what's this all about? You're never gonna drink. And I'm like, Mike's hard lemonade is just a lemonade with a little bit of hand sanitizer in it. Like, I'm not fucking, I'm not getting like blacked out on like fucking Jack Daniels every night. I'm I know, like, I Mike's know, hard. I know for a fact that Jackson has some supple and petite balls. As yeah. well, probably nipples too. Nipples definitely. Have you seen that picture? Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't even remind the me. The fucking the mirror pictures. I like it looks like zits. They, I, I said that asshole. I said they look like pimples. I know, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just. They do though. It. They do. So Luke, what's up? How's your week been, brother? How you been? It's been pretty good. Um, what about you? Thanks. You just fucking I threw that slow pitch down center field, and you just like <laughs> you leaned in and got hit by the pitch, brother. God damn, you really fucking did not I'm help me there at all. <laughs> um, alrighty. What's uh fuck? What you think of Jackson's new video, man? I guess it's good. <laughs> you think it? Oh, and Luke, your new video should be out right now too, right? Oh, maybe. We'll oh, see. yeah, bull fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> if this comes out, if it's out, then the that'll be very funny. In the comments, and if, if it's Luke's not, video is not out right now. Clown him mercilessly, <laughs> mercilessly clown him. What was your? What was the date that you said? The eleventh or whatever the fuck? I told. I told. No, I told Jake and Jackson that I plan to get it out the eleventh and fifteenth. Between and the I 11th still, and the 15th. And I still think I could possibly do that. The only issue is that my girlfriend goes away for vacation and she oh. wants to hog this entire week full of time with oh, her, which I'm okay, okay with. Now he's, okay, which I'm okay now with. he's making excuses, is he? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so see. if Tiffany if Tiffany was going away for a week, would you be like, oh, sorry, I can't hang out with you. I got a video. I got to edit. Yeah, fuck that bitch. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. Uh, just in case she thought I was being real. Uh, Jake, Jake, what is like your favorite porn? What's your favorite just subgenre of just feet? Feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback to the the Jakeless episode, actually. Where yeah. Yeah. no, no, yes, yes, I edited. It. Yes, it was. The intro was me saying, "Luke, do you like feet?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah." That's yeah. That's the that you were there. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I that was I episode sixty nine, bro. You were was there. It? Yes, Hang I because I I edited it. Hang on, sixteen. Are you sure? Yes, the sex number where we did not mention sex at all somehow. Are you in defeat? Yeah. Why do you look like this? Because I'm 
Wait, what the fuck? Wait, we did it. Wait, hang on. Give me a sec. Give me, run it back. Wait, there's no way we did it twice in a row. If we did it twice in a row, we're going to look like absolute fucking dumbasses. What do you mean? Like a feet joke? Yeah, hang on. It wasn't feet, no. Oh, it was the bonus. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was the bonus. That's what I was referring to. Because I that's know you okay. did. Okay, yeah, all right. So we're not uncreative. Bonus doesn't count, yeah. Hacks. Are we... Luke, all right, so... I was thinking about this. Why do people feel so compelled to create podcasts? Like, I mean, I, like, I know the answer, but, like, what kind of creative fulfillment does one get out of making a podcast that can't be done with, like... It's a different kind of creative fulfillment, obviously, but, like... Yeah. Why does that scratch the itch for so many people? I think... Like, are you talking about as, like, someone who wants to listen to a podcast or someone who wants to make a podcast? Make, make a podcast. Making podcasts. Uh, I think... It's 50-50. Sometimes it's like people 50, think they 50. have a really good, I think it's like they have a really good idea for a podcast or they just like hearing themselves talk. That's possible. Yeah. Like I know whenever we made our podcast, the reason we made it was because we were like, "Oh shit, like the three of us have good chemistry and chemistry. we would make an entertaining podcast." But then other people are just like, "I am famous." I'm gonna make I'm a podcast. Famous, every revenue, famous, every famous it. person has a podcast for absolutely no reason. Howie Mandel has a podcast. What's it called? I think it's literally the Howie Mandel Show. Like How, really Howie, lame. Howie time. How we doing? That's great. If it's not called How We Doing, I'm gonna fucking riot. Let's search it up on Spotify. Howie man. It's called Howie, Howie Mandel Howie... does stuff. What? That's so lame. That sucks. Stuff you should know. How he made episode Adam 58. Ray talks. <laughs> Adam Adam Ray talks his mom's vagina mo monologues and shows off his impressions of Johnny Depp and Nicolas Cage. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Very, very awesome. Howie Mandel has COVID. All caps on uh, episode fifty eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's lit. But Howie my, Mandel my, has COVID. My point getting into this is like, do, people feel creatively fulfilled when they have like a podcast like this, right? But some people's brains are wired differently. Like, if, all right, let's say uh, you, for some whatever reason, you decide to stop doing, you were forced to stop doing Luke on Demand, right? And this was your only creative outlet, right? Would you this? feel satisfied? Yeah, the Good Enough Podcast. Would you feel I satisfied think, creatively? I think, well, I was about to make a joke and be like, well, it's been satisfying me for the past six months when I haven't uploaded. Um, That's fact, but actually. But I think if for some reason I ever was like, I'm going to quit Luke on Demand, I'm only going to do the Good Enough podcast. I th I said this on Twitter the other day. I don't know if you saw it, but I unironically am just as proud of this podcast as I am my own main channel at this point. That's fair. And and that's not because uh, that's not because I feel like I do the same amount of work for this because obviously podcasts are way easier to make than like a full-on like hour-long like video but i don't know i think with our podcast in particular we've done such a good job at like we've done such a good job at making it like a i don't know how to describe it it's like it's it's like whenever you watch a tv show that's like a sitcom but if you watch all the sitcoms in a row, there's like a bigger connecting picture and it's like 10 million times funnier. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Cause like, like I, I think I can speak, I mean, I can speak for myself and probably Jackson too. I don't know how you are Jake, but like I'm legitimately just a fan of our podcast. Yeah. I'm a fan too. You know, like, like whenever, like whenever we make an episode, I'm like, ha, that bit was funny as if I was not the one who like did it Yeah. and call that, call that like full of myself all you want. Like, I don't really give a shit. I just think, I think we make a good podcast and I think we make, this is literally just hyping us up the episode, but we, I feel like the way we connect different, like loose themes from episode to episode into like one cohesive like big overall joke i think yeah. is pretty funny yeah because like because like someone can listen to episode one of this podcast and be like oh that's funny and then come to this episode and they're like what the fuck is happening because they just hear us talking about big gay balls and how jackson is racist <laughs> yes yeah and they don't, just don't understand it because it's like so soaked in like 
We're, inside we're like jokes. post post irony right now. We're well, just so much inside jokes. That's the thing, and that's not a bad thing. I think that makes our podcast pretty good. And I feel like we're still accessible. Like people can still listen to our podcast and be like, "Oh, well, that's cool." Yeah. You know. I Except think, for this part, people are probably just like, well, well, what's happening? Like, start, start talking about Jackson being gay and racist again, bro. <laughs> Stop talking about this It's funny, shit. it's funny. What about you, Jake? What do you think? I think, going back to my original point of, like, creative fulfillment, this might be a hot take, but if I only had this podcast, I don't think I would be creatively fulfilled. Like, I, I enjoy doing this, do not get me wrong, but the, my point is, like, people who can only do a podcast, and that's, like, I can, yeah. That's their creative outlet. Like, the the whole point of, like, having a podcast is, like, it's something on the side, you know? Like, yeah, it, it can be your main focus, but there's something about, like, the editorial process that there isn't there with a podcast. Like, you can plan some gags and stuff like that, but there's something about, like, making a video where, like, you do research, you make drafts and of stuff you record it you edit it like oh does this part seem funny here should right. i cut this out do i move it where i feel like i don't get that as much with a podcast but it's a mm-hmm. different type of creative fulfillment. no i told i totally i totally agree but i think i think the thing with the good enough that makes it like to where i am fulfilled by that even though it's like i think what helps is that good enough is not like like good enough is fulfillment for the week that it comes yes. out. Yeah, because it's a different a type video, of video. A video for me, like obviously, I'm not fulfilled right now because I'm still making a video that I've been wanting to put out for a long time. But I, like currently, as we're like uh, talking right now, like who knows, it might be out. Should be, be not, up. Whatever it should. I, I'm literally getting on myself now. It should. But um, fucking what was I saying? Oh no! Whenever I dropped the Black Midi video. I was fulfilled with that for like at least three months, like legit, you know, because I was just so proud of that video and like the amount of work that I put into it with a podcast. It's like just a week's worth of fulfillment. However, I will say, I think we do enough with the good enough podcast to make it a tad bit more fulfilling than like a normal podcast. Cause like if it's like fucking Howie Mandel does stuff, he probably just sits there and talks and that's Mm it. Like we like, like, Say what you will, like, we a lot of time we just get on here and we're like, oh, I don't know what we're going to talk about or yeah. whatever. But, like, we still have, like, I don't know. We still have a way to, like, connect everything. Right. Like, that, if we if we didn't, why why the hell would we have, like, arcs for yeah. the fucking f- award show, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that's the most pr- – I got a lot – a shit ton of creative, f- like, fulfillment out of that. Even though it was still, like, a podcast, technically, we did a lot of stuff for that, you yeah. know? And, like, the super hyper-edited hyper, hyper edited stuff, that's some of my favorite stuff to do, even though we don't really do that much of it. I need to, you know, kind of buck up on that a little bit. But, like, yeah, that's, that's kind of, like, my point, where some people, like, a pod, like, like, come down, right? Let's take come down as an example. Example, yeah, they do nothing. Like, Nick Mullen hits record, talks for an hour, and then hits stop record. It, it's funny. It. It's funny because, like, he doesn't even have, like... Because we go out of the way to do, like, an intro and outro joke most yes, of the time. Yes, intro, outro joke. Like, we have graphics. Nick Mullen, we have a video version. We have all this stuff. Yeah, Come Town is literally just... They hit record, talk for an hour, and then once the hour mark hits, it's it's over. And, like, it's not even like, all right, guys, we're about to record. And they're like, hey, guys, welcome to the podcast. Nick literally hits record, and you'll be five minutes into the episode, and then Nick goes, "Oh yeah, I already hit recording." And no, then- they will. They will be like mid sent. Like some people will be mid word, and he just starts recording. And like, don't get me wrong, I think Come Town's funny, and like they got their own little niche. But I'm speaking more as like, if that was my only creative outlet, if the only thing I could do was hit record, talk for an hour, and then hit stop. I would not be creatively fulfilled. And I don't know how people can feel like Howie Mandel is a good example. Like he probably doesn't do shit. He does not edit it. He doesn't do anything. He sit his producer or his managers like, Oh, you should make a podcast. He probably does yeah. the same thing and then has people edit for him. Like he, I know he acts and stuff like that, but let's take that out of the equation for a bit. He hosts more game shows. Than yeah. Anything. Like he doesn't act. He doesn't have any like creative fulfillment. Like, I don't know how you can feel like, creatively fulfilled when you have no editorial like huge editorial like research and like versions and this big cathartic release like oh i just set this big thing off into the wild like that that mindset's very like 
the the caller daddy girls is another good example like the yeah. the big thing where one of the girls they they edited the podcast and they didn't really do anything else but like that's still better than nothing and one of the girls didn't do anything and she wanted so much money she wanted more money than the girl who was doing the work or she wanted a bigger contract or whatever and i don't know how you can get like creative fulfillment out of that just like like she doesn't even hit record and stop record she shows up yeah and she gets creative fulfillment out of that and i just i don't that's how Adam and Stavar and come yeah, down. They aren't yeah. even the main guy. Nick does everything. He uploads but, I mean, podcasts. And at like, least they have other. At least Stav is grinding with the the stand up. At least Adam's like grinding with stand up. He's doing funny moms and he's making the he made the the uh, the paintings that he does into shirts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's yeah, going into e commerce. So at like, least he's they got doing something. Shit. But like, and even Nick is doing stand up, right? Yeah, Nick. He started doing stand up, but for a while he was like, he was doing nothing, kind of quitting cold turkey. Yeah. I think, I think he like kind of let down during quarantine, though. Yeah, like, but I mean, I, that's not even like you know, everyone kind of let down during during even yeah. before that he was kind of you know slowing down. But mm-hmm. yeah, I just I was just that was something that was on my mind today. Yeah. If only if maybe Jackson. I mean, I don't have multiple podcasts, so I don't know. Like, yeah. I know I you and Jack. Like, you double. have three. Jackson yeah. has two, and I have. It's one, difficult juggling which is them, this. especially the most difficult one is, without a doubt, uh, the Big Fish podcast. Because, well, that's that, just an interview. It's podcast. an interview, but like, I have to find a guest. They first, I have to. First, they have to say yes to the interview. Then I have to schedule a time to meet with them. That's, that's not, like, on a weekly basis or anything like that. Then I have to, like, get, like, a sufficient amount of information about them that I feel comfortable asking them questions about. Like, get right. somewhat interesting questions. And I got to hope that our chemistry, like, works. Because sometimes the chemistry is not there. And it's, like, it's a very awkward slog. Whereas it's the Good Enough Podcast and Jiffy Not Jiffy is much easier because I know these blokes. I've been around them for we're at seventy episodes. Them. Good, good. Yeah. I've been dating Tiffany for like seventy, f- like four and a half years almost. So Jesus like, Christ, seventy yeah, episodes. Seventy episodes. This is it's almost hundred. Right? Yeah, it's seventy one. It's almost hundred, dude. I, I, you, I don't know. Like just. It does not feel like we've done 70 episodes of this shit. Nah, 70 weeks. That's crazy. That's wild. (sighs) Damn. Yeah, so I just went down a little bit of a... The creator's mind. Yeah. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. Why do humans make things? That's a good question. God. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. I'm gonna ask God himself. Where are your fingers? Where is Mario Judah? Where the fuck is Mario Judah? Is he on Cameo? Can he? someone pay him to do a fucking... Mario Judah... I, I said this before. He started NFTs. No, I meant... The I Ragers. Meant Vsauce. Oh. Yeah, because I want, I want to pay him to say, Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Where is Mario Judah? I want to pay him to do that. Vsauce... Kind of like said, how he did uh, that for uh, Cameo. Nice. I mean, not, not I, we didn't pay Shoe Nice. He, we was, he did it he, for he, us, Yeah, he did obviously. that for fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yo, so we sleep on that so much. But Shoe Nice literally introed an episode for it. <laughs> he introed. What are we gonna bring him back for? We should. For if, he, War Show if he's not too? dead by then, yeah. We should make him. Uh, he's the host. Or should we have different hosts like the Oscars? I I still think we should get a porn star. That'd we gotta get funny. a recognizable one, like Johnny Sins or something like that. Johnny Sins doesn't do it though. He does. Yes, he does. He does. He did. Well, the, that's uh, gotta be. That's gotta be mega expensive. Oh yeah, he did the whatchamacallit. He did the cold ones thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey Max and Chad, I got snake. I wish or whatever. I wish uh like this is so sad, uh but I wish like Norm Macdonald or like Gilbert Godfrey is still alive because they used to do cameos. Oh dude, all the time. Gilbert Godfrey was the was the god of cameo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look on and see what I can find. All right, man. There's just so much. Shit. Would you do a cameo, Jake? Like if you would, if you so, were like a if you were like a C-list celebrity, would you do cameo? Uh, that, all right, so cameos to me like I don't really understand the like the appeal to it. Like I I understand the appeal to it, but like for what its intended use is, the intended use of a cameo is like Oh, send this to your dad to wish them a happy birthday. 
And like that's just such a waste of no money. No one uses it like to that. have a celebrity say, oh, "Happy Happy Birthday, Steve! Your kids love you." Like I'm Gilbert Godfrey. I'm dead. Like that's I'm. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems like I'm such Gilbert a waste. Godfrey. I'm dead. I'm dead. The only thing that people use cameo for is small YouTubers like us that want to do like a funny gag where they're like, "Let's see what dumb shit we can make this semi-famous person say." So like. I don't know if I do one. Like I, I get. The I, appeal I just to think it. about who's the guy from Breaking Bad. What's his name? Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, I know, I know. You're talking he's about. on cameo, and he says the most insane he's, shit. He's taking up the uh, what should I call it? Uh, he's taking over the Gilbert Godfrey ranks, where he just says anything. Well, the, my still my favorite one is probably. I know it's basic, but it's still the one where he's like, um, "Oh, what are you doing, Walt?" Game seem kind of sus lately. Seem kind of sus there's an lately. Imposter among some, some type of Yo, you want to get among us. you want to get Kermit the Frog? Is Kermit the Frog available? Uh, it's not the. I don't think it's real Kermit the Frog, but it's Kermit the Frog. Wait, hang on, let's do some. This is the casting Dude, couch, ladies and gentlemen. What whatever hey, happened to Kermit the Frog here? And I'm now on cameo. At why cameo? I hear you. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like Linkara. Doesn't even sound like fucking. <laughs> We should get Linkara to do it. <laughs> Is he on cameo? <laughs> Dude, imagine Linkara <laughs> oh doing a cameo. It's like, hey, I'm Linkara, the light I'm Lin Cara. and this is the oh, Good Enough Awards yeah, nah, 2022. He's... Nah, he ain't on there, unfortunately. Um... Do you think we can message him over Twitter? <laughs> Lin- hey, Linkara. Lin uh, Nick Akato Avocado, bro. Is he on that? <laughs> yeah, but he's expensive. I'm gonna get Kanye East. <laughs> Someone got me a Kanye East thing for no my birthday. Way. Wait, yeah. let's say Kanye East. Hey yo! It's your boy Kanye East! Not the Westman, but the Eastman! Hey yo, over 3,000 fans can't be wrong! Over 900 five star ratings can't be wrong! Okay, but- okay, alright. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look for my Kanye East. Uh, yeah, please find the Kanye got. East thing. I'm looking for Cause like because all I know is he says Luke on demand balls in it multiple times. <laughs> Here it is. That's lit. We the laryngitis rap. Man, my voice sick. is fucked up. I'm so sorry for that. I'm gonna do this anyway. Yo, yo, back, yo, too loud. Max sent you this. Luke on demand, man. Luke on demand. You graduated, man. <laughs> oh, it's when I graduated. <laughs> Your friend Max sent you this Cause you graduated, man So now I'm about to freestyle for you Can I get this, it. man? Luke on the man, boss On the <laughs> man, man Luke on the man, boss That's man, yo. That's like very funny You on the man Put them on your YouTube Watch them spin all around Yo, thank your friend Max for this funny shit with the laryngitis rap, with that funny shit, I'ma do it anyway. He's doing I'ma it anyway, my dude. Oh goddamn voice, I oh, don't shit. give a fuck. He don't give a I'm fuck, dude. I'm shouting it out for you, Luke on demand, boss, boss, boss. <laughs> That's pretty lit, actually. Yeah. You wanna get, you wanna get Bam Margera? <laughs> Hi, this is Bam Margera, and I'm gonna, fu- I'm gonna shit in my friend's mouth. <laughs> This is Bam Margera. I'm looking else. There's a lot of old pro wrestlers on here, which kind of makes me sad. I think um, Stranger Things Season 4 has been pretty good so far. You want to get Ernie Hudson? What? You want to get Ernie Hudson? Let's do it. The Ghostbuster? I think if I was on Cameo, I think if I was on Cameo, I would probably be like... I'd probably just like say anything as long as it wasn't like racist or like homophobic or some shit like that and even then depends on the price tag <laughs> <gasps> now nah, oh, you pay fuck. me enough dude if no. gary Busey wasn't so expensive i would 100 percent say gary Busey. i wish there was like politicians like joe biden did i think they're oh if joe biden oh my god that's just a recipe for disaster dude if joe but he's like it's like, hey, um, hey, it's, it's hey, Joe Biden. Joe, hey, it's Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. What's the, up, Jack? The, the Jack, what's hair. up? It's Joe Biden. I'm, I'm getting you from the White House. The White House pool, man. This is going out to, this is going out to the, Jack. I the, mean, the Luke. Leg hair. And you got the 
got the white the pool uh the pool today got the, the cameo and we got the cameo in here the white the white right. house let's and be we got real, the, okay ready and, for this so <laughs> t- uh, you, you have two finish it. you have two choices right danielle elimekli l elimelek daniel elimelek a tiktok creator on tiktok i mean on cameo for $240, right? Right? Or, <coughs> hear me out, Shoe Nice for 25 Dude, easy pick. Shoe Nice. Easy pick, dude. That's so easy. I don't shoe know. Shoe Nice for 25 Wait, how, how much? All right, if we were hypothetically going to pay <laughs> Shoe Nice for our award show, how yeah. much was it whenever we, that happened? Who paid for it? I think it was Jackson, right? I think it was Jackson. No, it was you. No, because I didn't write the script. Wait. It was Jackson. Yeah, I didn't write that. I wrote the other intro and for the. Oh, did we ever Fiverr. pay Jackson for that? If we were going to do we that, we edit all the po- fuck him. We edit all the podcasts. That's true. That's yeah, true. Fuck him. You want to get Taze hey. on day? Enter. Ooh, chocolate. Good enough pod. <laughs> good enough pod. The twenty twenty. It's awards. raining down with the good enough pod. We got the big um, gay balls and they're running off. <laughs> you want to get Airsoft Fatty? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Airsoft Fatty's on here. We can probably... Oh, he does live video calls too. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, dude. Okay, let's let's get let's get an example. Let's get a little taste of what we'd get with uh, Airsoft Fatty. What's going on in OK? I, I, I hope I said the name right. I could be wrong, but I believe it isn't OK. Is it a citizen? Please, feel free to correct me. I don't know if this is exactly what you wanted, but uh, based on the vibes I'm getting, I'm gonna give you what, I, what, I'm, what I'm gonna give This is you awesome. For. I've sent you my email in the DM, so if you want something different, Aww. just hit me up. And You're I such a sweetheart. No what? But if I'm getting what you're going for, I just got done posting a, a post on Instagram where I asked if people have a rough day, and I posted a poll. And I went to my insights, and I chose a person who was having a rough day, who wouldn't use the poll, and, uh... Here's the list of slurs I will say <laughs> and will not say. I don't know if this is the vibe you're going for, but, like... <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's very sweet. All right, Airsoft Fatty is definitely in contention for 2022 uh, Gunner I like Awards. Airsoft. I like Airsoft Fatty. You didn't um, even hear my joke. That's okay. No, I heard your joke. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. I still think if, like, a politician did it, like, if it was Ted Cruz, like, Hey, it's me, Ted Cruz, shouting out from Cancun over here to give you a happy birthday wish, Jake Joseph. <laughs> Should we do Jesus? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot the guy who dresses up like Jesus. Jesus is on here. What else? Oh, what's the guy? S- wait, S- Squee- Squeezy Jibs? You want to get Squeezy what if- Jibs? <laughs> what if, uh, fucking, what's his name, uh, Jordy Squeezy, Green. Squeezy, Squeezy Jibs. Customized videos up here on Cameo, whether it is a shout out video or birthday message. Oh, okay. I love this guy. He's in contention. Okay, don't worry, guys. We're we're uh, we're doing work right now. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, we're doing some science. Ooh, J- YMS is on here. Oh, really? Yeah, that's actually not hey. a bad. Yeah. Hey, it's me. I'm trying to do. Is that his voice? Hey, it's no. me, YMS. It sounds, na- na- it sounds nasally. Hey, it's me, YMS. It's like Your almost movie. like a... It's almost like a... Ralph a, the a, Movie Maker's newest movie is a piece of garbage. Hey, guys, it's me. Your movie sucks, and today I'll we'll be reviewing you your cameo so, you submission. You sound like a Muppet, bro. Hello, Jacob. This is Adam from YMS. The oh, wow. movie sucks thing. It's on YouTube. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, happy birthday. Happy 26th birthday, in fact. Like, who? Okay, well, I was just going to say, who buys it for, like, occasions like that? But then the birthday Luke literally one, just played know. one for graduation from Kanye East. So Luke I mean, on demand balls. balls. <laughs> he, sounded, cool. he sounded exasperated. He sounded like he was straining just to get the his, last balls out. His, his throat was very supple that day. <laughs> Uh, we can get poopies from Jackass Forever. Um, what if Tyler the Creator did it? Oh, dude, he charged like a thousand dollars. Hey, man, it's Tyler the Creator. Hey, man, Tyler the Creator. Here. I can't even do his voice that well. <laughs> what if Drake did it? 
I wouldn't. Hey, yo, it's OVO Tings Drake wishing Jacob a happy birthday. Happy 26th birthday, man. I'd give him, like, really? words. <laughs> I'd give him, like, words that, like, if you said it and you, like, said it back, like, if you played the video backwards, it'd say, like, something horrible. Like, Dr Drake's the type of guy to buy stuff. a cameo birthday video. He is. He absolutely is, bro. Drake's Talk the type Drake's the type of guy that would forget a gift for a girl and he would get her a cameo of her favorite Riverdale star. I gotta keep that in my back pocket now, Luke, actually. God damn it. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, hey, Tiffany. It's Cole Sprouse. What's up? I'm just here on the, the cast of Riverdale. <laughs> and I'm just looking at the hey, Riverdale. Tiffany. I mean, fuck. Hey, Tiffany. What's up? It's me, Cole Sprouse, a.k.a. Jughead. And I just want to tell you, AKA just Jughead like me, Jones. just like me, you're different. You're not like the other people. <laughs> I'd like to... <gasps> Dame drops. No way. He's a hundred bucks, though. That's a that's an investment. Which we will not recuperate. Dame drops... Ha doesn't Dame drops have, like, a TV show now? Does Dame... Oh, he's... I saw him, like, guest star on a TV show. Like, Is It Cake on Netflix. Oh, dude, you he, watched he that? Hell yeah, dude. It looked awful. It was. <laughs> Shit sucked. It was... I mean, it's kind of fun, like, the whole, like, the novelty, like, ooh, is it, like, let's see if we can decide if it's cake or not. Like, Dame cool. Drops hosted his own Netflix show called Fresh Fried and Crispy. And oh, he hosted like a, it? Yeah, he was the, he was the, the host. The hell? I think it only got one season. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's get like a let's get like a uh, not a controversial guy to do it, but like let's get a controversial person to do our uh, the good enough pot uh, the award show. Ooh, you want to get a fucking uh, Donald Trump? Name? Let's get him. That's like not a bad idea. Let's get uh, Martin Cabello. Should we want to get him? What's he controversial for? I don't know. Wasn't he the let's guy? Get Mark, who... Let's get Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg. Was he the guy that was like? My my friend's kids died in a, car, a fiery car accident. Well, he's, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. What he, Let's just get someone that about. no one's ever fucking heard of ever. I think that'd be funny. Like just someone on Fiverr. Just like we have no fucking idea who they are, but we just get them <sighs> because why not? Let's get the fucking the dog face guy. The guy singing to uh, what's it called the? What's the band that all the white girls found out recently? Hers. No. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> yeah, the guy you drink the cranberry juice listening to Fleetwood Mac. I think we should, um, if we ever all start making really good money, we should go on Fiverr and do an entire podcast episode where we buy shit off of Fiverr and then come back like a week later and see. Oh, uh, kind of like the, the, whatchamacallit, the, the cold ones bit where they're like, we bought, we spent $10,000 on Fiverr. We spent $200 on Fiverr. To be fair, to be fair, the one time we used Fiverr for the podcast, it was a roaring success. It was a, well, it, we used it twice, and they were both roaring successes. Wait, twice? We yeah, used with the intro for the uh, uh, Good Enough Gaming with the, yeah. the ninjas, and my, uh, the storybook intro that's right which is still I about that i think that's a top tier intro i agree i love like that was intro. that was that uh that was the new era this was that was season two yeah. right yeah that was season two yeah that that needs to win i wonder if people season call two. there's no way other people other than us called the orange era the season the orange two. era yeah hold on yes. I'm, I'm on fiverr right now what should i search up Okay. No services found. Damn it. All right. Let's go with something a little safer. Um, construction worker. I will record a voice as an Australian construction worker Aussie tradie. Okay. Starting at $10. 10 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, you're on Fiverr. Oh, I was confused. I yeah. think you're on Cameo. <laughs> no, I'm on Fiverr. Yeah, let's look on Fiverr first. Though. This is awful. The mic boom, <laughs> the mic boom is literally like in the shot. Here, you give it to me, and I'll play it. <laughs> give me a, give me a category. Uh, 
I just sent it over Discord. Okay. I'll play it on my my cellular mobile device. It, you you can see his mic boom in the shot. Why is it so comically big? I just searched who, up gameplay who edit. That? Who like wh like in what context would that be needed? Needed? Yeah, I like like who needs in a in Australian construction? That's such a specific thing. I will professionally edit and transform your dude. We should make a good enough gaming clip, and we give them the worst fucking like good enough gaming thing, and we have them edit it down. No, Luke, like I a... was gonna recommend that you record yourself playing Fortnite, and we send it to, uh, we give it to someone on Fiverr. Luke, fifteen starting at fifteen dollars, I'll be your Fortnite coach. Ooh, you can coach in Fortnite. I'm gonna search up YouTube. Hi. I'm Axe Manger. I'm a professional Fortnite player that has placed highly in several competitive tournaments, and I will get you to the pro level as well. I plan to coach you to improve, to improve as a player, and also live coach you in tournaments, whether that's solo or trios, and help find their weaknesses as a player, and help you to improve and become the best individual you can be. That's fucking scam. Oh my god. $150. I will make you a successful YouTube channel. Wait, that's 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 interesting. only only five stars. Four hundred and forty six review. Nope, four hundred forty five of those reviews are five stars. One three star review. Huh. I will edit your Fortnite montage or highlights. This, it just seems like this guy gets feedback. This is fucking hilarious. What is that? <laughs> this has been a great episode, man. Yeah, dude. We're just looking at... You know it's a good episode when we're on our phones for 90% of it. Anyway. <laughs> well, we also got introspective. We were talking about like the creative process and the human mind. Yeah. And what drives I'm, a, I'm on Fiverr create. looking shit up right now. Yeah, um, dude. We're on Cameo. Let's... I'm going to look up... Make a beat. <laughs> no, Luke, you should make like a clown. We should make like a clown horn, like a shitty ass instrumental, and give it to a rapper on Fiverr and be like, yo, can you spit some bars on this? Oh, rapper. Like, let's make I will a rap, clown I will beat. rap on your hit song for $20. That's not bad. It's a woman. Let, the let's do it. The hip hop pastor. <laughs> I think it's. F E G A is that Fega or Figa? F E. Whoa! Did you just say a bad word, bro? No. Whoa! Whoa. Editing loop. Beep that out at your own discretion. <laughs> she is the real deal in the hip hop world. She has come on the scene with her own style, energy, and sound. That's why she's on Fiverr. <laughs> she is set to release one of her hit songs shortly, titled Zaze. <laughs> what? Wait. What's it? What's her name? Oh, look her up on Apple Podcasts. Rappers from Nigeria. F E G A Michaels. I think it's pronounced um, fe like, all right. like Feg like Fega. Like that. Fega Michaels. Yeah, these are these are definitely rapper album covers, and it is hilarious because there is an album cover where they use the exact same picture just in two different images. <laughs> But I'm down. Let's get her, dude. Luke, let's I make, will a make... Clown ass, let's make a oh, clown ass st horn song. St starting at $5, I will make a fire, catchy rap song to promote your business. Hey, yo, good enough podcast. That's what you I'm saying. You gotta watch that. <sighs> dude, what is stopping me from buying this right now? Uh, you, uh, we gotta make a dog shit ass beat. And then... No, all right, basic. I will create a short rap up to 15 seconds. Standard, which is 15, 30 seconds. $100. I will create a full song for your brand, website, or business. 
Luke, I think we're I think we're losing money if Deliver- we don't buy del- this guy. Del- <laughs> delivery time, one day. That's not bad. Usually it's 24 hour turnaround time. I want to see. Oh, this is so low quality. Oh please, send it. I'm playing it over the speakers. You can barely understand what is being said. It's like so. I want to see. We might as well get examples. Jackson to record a fucking rap song for us. That, that better not be the fucking only thing he's got. Come on, we Trump. need to get him. Can we can we ask him to like make a rap about gay, big gay balls and shit? Pay artists for their streams. What the fuck? Hey, I'm down to get make like a trash ass beat and then ha- and then like pay someone to get on it. I think that'd be funny. It's like, can you rap on this beat for us? And it's like, oh no, no, no. What we should do? We we should ask him to do like um. Yeah, glad that thought really went somewhere we should we should ask him to like do an acapella verse and we'll say we're gonna add the beat in post because we already know what beat we're gonna do yeah, it should be like uh just just tell him, him just tell him the yeah give him the bpm and it will make it the worst fucking thing ever <laughs> no we just put those scooby-doo sound effects like those Hanna barbera sounds hang on wait <laughs> it's like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> here luke can we get a air yeah, hand I'm looking it up. No, Luke, you here. I'll play the Hanna Barbera sound and then you rap for us, okay? And we'll give a little okay. preview. All Should right, I ready? do a good enough podcast rap? You can. Sure. Yeah, freestyle. Ready? Okay. Hey, good enough podcast, Jackson, Jake, and Luke. Every, everybody, look and don't puke. Hey, hey, we're gonna talk about something. Hey, we're gonna talk about OVO things. Hey, we're gonna talk about. <laughs> this shit hard. <laughs> yeah, the episodes always get weird when there's no Jackson. I know. <sighs> what about this? good enough podcast y'all better watch that (laughs) (laughs) ah yes the good enough podcast when we're down a member we either revert to Playing on our phones, making poop noises. That, or that's a McDonald's Uber Eats ad. No. Talking about the ethical morality of saying <laughs> homosexual slurs in a rap song. There's no difference. Okay. Let's see, this is going to continue. Alrighty. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what I got to say to that bitch? <laughs> you know what I have to say about that? Don't make me do it again. Don't make me do it again. It's penis music. Guys, if you're ever in a pinch and you need to, <laughs> you need to describe to someone what penis music is. <laughs> Finish your thought. Bruh, uh, no, dude. Bruh. <laughs> Spoonful? Is it? You have like an app where you like hit the button? No, I'm just pulling it up on uh, <laughs> YouTube. You should not crack your dick like a glow stick. It will not glow. That's 
discuss awesome, whether man. or not Doctor Strange's multiverse could be real, and I finally have an answer. Using Stephen Hawking's multiverse theory, I concluded that there are in fact 14,605 possible multiverses, but there is one problem. Out of the 14 million multiverses, there isn't a single one where you get some digits. This is a quite rare this is what the podcast is involved to. <laughs> I heard the Kendrick scream. <laughs> Why did he have a scream in the new album, bro? I don't know. Hey, hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. This is me. Whenever I hear the end of this episode. Bruh. Bruh. Is that the worst, or the best episode we've ever done? You see what you're missing, Jackson? You see this, bitch? You see what you chose over the Good Enough Podcast? (laughs) Krakatoa. No, that is an ad. Wait, you see that video of the uh, Krakatoa? That's just a flashback sound effect. Ooh, that's a cool noise. Krakatoa. This is... This is called Japanese bro sound effect too. That's not even the same as the bro noise, yeah. <laughs> That's not even the bro sound effect. Are you ready? Krakatoa. Uh, oh, bruh. Bruh. This is awful. Pe- <laughs> People checked out like five Dude, seconds. Fuck. People checked out five minutes ago. Okay. Oh, bro. Woke we should. Ah, mind- oh, fuck. Are we still going? Like, is this still a podcast? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I might just... I don't know. I mean, you can keep going. It's fine. We can just look at memes for another half hour. Like, I'm totally okay with that. I think we're I think we're done. Are you sure? Here, one more, yeah. okay? Just give me, like, one more. Okay, one you got it. One more. Luke, play the bro sound. Play the bro sound. Come on, do it. Successful podcast, everyone. Fuck you, Jackson. <laughs> so much better without you. Take it away, Jackson. Hey, how's it going, guys?